Hi everyone, this is Ali Nasser. In this video, I will illustrate and solve the issue of the pending lines didn't appear in the XF file exported from SolidWorks. As you see here in this picture, no bending lines appear, but I want to uh, show bending lines as showing in a second picture. This is our issue or main issue. The second uh, part of this video, I will show how to create map or color for your bend lines and the mean edges of sheet metal. Let's go to sheet SolidWorks to solve this problem. Here is our model. Uh, as you see, we have uh, some edges with uh, down bending and uh, up bending. And uh, we want to export this file uh, as DXF. Let's uh, just right click on any face and uh, select export to DXF. Save your DXF file. Uh, if you just select your face and uh, click OK, you will find just only your uh, selected face, not all geometry. Click OK here, as you see. So we need to make flatten to right click here and export to make all uh, face as exported now all faces click ok after click ok and click ok again for map mapping here you will see no bending line this is our problem we need to solve this problem this is just simple problem um, you don't need to make all of this or go to flatten just select right click on any face and uh, export to dxf Save your DXF. During saving your DXF, you will um, notice it here we have some options. Uh, we need to select sheet metal to show uh, option of uh, export DXF. Uh, we need to show what we need to show geometry, all geometry uh, for entities of geometry, also bending lines. You can also um, show bounding box, bounding box me, which means uh, uh, frames, lines or edge lines of sheet metal. So I just want to show bend lines, not all of this, and uh, right or click here, click OK. After click OK, you will show in uh, your mapping, just OK again, you will find the problem solved and you can see the bending lines appear very easy. Okay, you can save your file and go to cutting the, it. Um, let's show another thing. When I uh, just click OK here, I have something called mapping. What is mapping? Mapping uh, it contains some uh, properties to define layers. Here, if I want to define uh, layers or color for mean edge of the sheet metal, Let's select it and call it uh, as edges. Edges. And define its color as white and uh, a shape of line or, or a style uh, solid line. And also, we need to define bending lines uh, up and down. Just right click uh, or type here bend up and uh, define its color uh, let's assume it is yellow and uh, make it its style as a uh, center line uh, also bend down let's assume as uh, gray or blue and center line also we need to assign these layers here in mapping just select edges select entity geometry and select Bend up here. Just, this is just assign it. You, we, we didn't need to make anything. Uh, this is just assign it like here. This is, will be appear in our final uh, DXF. Uh, if you want to uh, make this default map, you can save your map. Select browse. I will save this map. Let me save the. the mapping file here in this folder 
and uh, give it its name uh, map or mapping save this will be your default mapping for any future uh, part or you want to give the same uh, color just click ok and you will find the part with your uh, defined colors just save ok and uh, you can use your uh, DXF file easily in any software or your machine. Uh, also, let's check uh, the options of export. If I click options, I go to uh, export, select format as uh, DXF. Where is DXF? Here is. After you select the DXF, you will find uh, something called map file. Map file, we just define it. Uh, you can uh, browse and uh, show its uh, direction you can define more than one uh, map to choose uh, in another uh, model and that is, that is just this is uh, everything let's check uh, this file in another software I click OK here in this file I will open it on uh, AutoCAD all color appear on the part I hope this video is helpful for you. My regard is Ali Nasser.